Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number four or of our course microprocessor systems and interfacing. And today's topic is access bank. In last lecture we covered an important topic which is called file register, which we also consider that this is a RAM for uh, our microcontroller which is PKTNF452. So in this file register there are 4000 locations or to be exact 4096 locations and each of these location can carry 8 bit of information. We also learned that address range start for this file register from 00 hertz, uh, 00, 00 hertz to triple F hertz, right? And we are going to see how these addresses generated in detail in today's lecture. We also hear that there are 16 banks in this file register because this file register is huge capacity 4 kilobytes which is the difficult to handle at once so they are divided in 16 banks or 16 portions and each bank can carry 256 bytes of information. And we also verified that if we multiply 16 with 256 bytes then we can actually verify the complete capacity of file register which is 4096 bytes or there are 4096 locations and each of these locations can carry 8 bit of information. Okay, let's learn another important term which is called access bank. What is going? What is access bank? Uh, PIC 18 family members, we have learned that they have different size of memories available within them. So file register size or data, data memory size is also variable uh, uh, among the among the fam different family members which are available in within the uh, PIC 18 family, right? So uh, PIC 18 family members have at least one bank, right? Uh, so uh, we know that PIC 18 F452 has around 16 banks, but uh, it is not true for every member of PIC 18 family, but at least one bank will be available uh, for every family member, right? So that family, uh, that uh, one bank is called access bank. Why this is called access bank? We are going to hear it. Uh, this is also known as default bank because whenever IC is powered up, right? When you are starting very first time this microcontroller to so this bank or this portion of memory is available uh, for the access purpose. And that is why it is called access bank or default bank, right? So whenever uh, IC is powered up, this bank is already selected, right? Okay, now we are going to learn an important aspect of file register and how these banks are divided and how these addresses are generated. We know that this is our uh, complete uh, file register. So it represents complete capacity of file register. We know that there are around 4K bytes, right? So how you can generate the addresses for to understand this concept, we need to uh, minimize the uh, scale of the concepts. So let's consider we have a memory in which we have only four slots available. So one, two, and three and four, right? So these are four slots. So if we want to address them, so we need how many bits? We need two bits. How I'm accessing this two bits? Zero, zero. The next bit would address would be what? Zero, one. The next address would be one, zero. And the next address would be one, one. So that means initial address or initial location address would be zero, zero. Second location address would be what? 0, 1, third location address would be what 1 0 and fourth location would be 1 1 right so this is the uh, four slots and how we know that th there will be two bits involved in the address this is very simple we know that there are four uh, locations in actual so 4 is what 2 raised to 2 that means this power of uh, 2 is basically number of bits. So how many bits are needed? Two bits are needed and how these two is evaluated because two raised to two is equal to four. So that is how one can calculate the number of bits involved in the address, right? So if we apply the same logic, okay, let me raise this uh, small size of example or sample example. Now we're gonna apply the same logic. So we have how many locations? 4K, 4K locations, right? 
every location has four, one byte of capacity that is why this is total four kilobyte but locations are how many locations four kilo locations so if we gonna apply the same rules so four is what two raised to two and k if you don't know so let me tell you in binary system basically clo means two raised to ten so in total it would become what two and two raised to twelve I know I hope uh, this simple arithmetic is clear to everyone because 10 and 2 will get added and it will become 2 power 12 so how many bits we need we need 12 bits so if we are gonna write 12 bits some minimum address would be what 0 0 0 these are four zeros another four zeros we need zeros zeros okay so this these are now eight and now we need another four zeros that means it is equal to 12 zeros so if we uh, convert them into hexadecimal we know that this will be equal to simple zero this will be zero and zero so starting address is what A starting address is zero 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 hex and which can be verified here so starting address of this file register is zero zero hex and how it is evaluated by using this logic so if we want to find the last address that would become what 12 times one so maximum will be one one this is one hexadecimal one 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 and another one 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 so uh, you know that four ones in hexadecimal is equal to f f and this is also becoming f and this is also becoming f so maximum address right uh, would be triple f right so this is how one can calculate the maximum address of file register i hope this concept is clear okay now i'm gonna extend this concept further so let me delete it let's divide this file register in 16 banks so it will be starting with uh, what it will be starting with uh, uh, bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 and it goes up to bank 15 so if we're gonna number it number 1 bank number 2 bank number 3 bank and it will go up to bank number 16 so starting address is bank 0 and uh, ending bank is basically bank 15 okay so you know that there are 256 bytes available in each bank so how many bytes 256 bytes are available in each bank this is very important so if we gonna convert it into hexadecimal so 256 decimal will be equal to ff hex right so we know that starting address is 000 hex and it will go up to uh, 0 f f f and f right this is very important why this is equal to 0 ff because uh, in one bank uh, location how many location will be there 256 locations so they can be numbered from 0 to 255 or if we uh, number them in hexadecimal so they will be numbered from 00 to double uh, ff hex right so that is why the starting address of bank 0 would be what 000 hex and the maximum address of bank 0 would be 0 triple f 0 double f x right so next uh, bank address would be what 1 0 0 and the last address would be 1 ff so similarly the last bank starting address would be because it is bank number 15 and 15 is what f so f 0 0 will be starting address of the last bank and the f double f would be what maximum address of the last bank right so this is the concept that we want to explain uh, how banks can be numbered and how you can generate their addresses i hope this point is clear now let's raise it and extend this concept further okay let's take out the first bank right so what we are doing we are just extracting first bank and divide those banks into two equal parts so we know that in total there are 256 bytes or 256 location and if we divide by two them it will be equal to what one two eight bytes so 
if we divide every bank into two bytes or only this bank divide into two portions so every portion will have how many locations 128 locations so uh, this is our first half of bank zero and this is our second half of bank zero so let's address them if we address it what will be the address of uh, first portion of course it is starting from zero zero right but it will go up to what what will be the range of the this this uh, this bank's last address right the very first portion right so it would be how many bytes 128 bytes so if we convert in uh, so in decimal bank locations will be numbered from 0 to 1 to 7 right so starting address would be 00, 0 hex and if we convert 1 to 7 into binary that will be equal to or hexadecimal that will be equal to what 7f i hope everybody can convert it and if you don't know uh, if you don't know please go to through this uh, calculation so this will become what 07f this is very important thing you need to know so the first portion of bank zero address will start with 00, 0 hex and the last address would be what 00, 07f let's talk about uh, uh, this next portion right this portion what will be addresses of this portion so you know that 07f is the last address of this portion so next portion next location will be coming into this location so that will be equal to what uh, 080 right so that will be 080 and last address of this portion what would be last address it's very easy we know that bank 0 ends up to this address so last address would be what 0 f f right this is very very important concept i'm i hope you are understanding it and if you do not uh, note down your queries right so uh, if we apply the same logic to the very last bank again divide this bank into two portions so the very first uh, the very last portion would be what uh, or very first portion of last bank would be what it will be starting with f 0 0 which is the starting address of bank 15 and it will go up to f 7 f right as this is the case over here right and similarly the next portion address will range up to f 8 0 up to f uh, 8 sorry triple f right that is the last address of this file register and as well as of this bank as well <coughs> i'm sorry yes so what we will be doing uh, okay let's uh, raise some unnecessary stuff so if we eliminate it what it will become yes we do not need it right we do not need it we do not need it right and this okay what we are going we are going to uh, extend this concept further so we are considering only this first portion right this first portion of first bank so 128 bytes of first bank so address will be from 00 to what 07 F I hope this is clear to everyone similarly if I raise down this thing and this is also now unnecessary stuff I can eliminate it yeah that's okay and I can actually raise it yeah so next uh, what we are going to do we are going to, to take the last portion of the last bank right so if what will be address of this this address will be what is address will be uh, f80 up from triple F right so these are again 128 bytes and these are also 120 bytes bytes so these 128 bytes and these 128 bytes what we are going to do we are going to add them up in one bank and this is called access bank right so how access bank is formed by summing up or by adding up the first half portion of bank zero and the last half portion of 
uh, bank 15 and if you add them up it is basically making making up your access bank so this is our access bank and what are the ranges uh, what are the address ranges let me delete it okay so address range would be what address range would be from 00 hertz uh, 00 uh, hacks to uh, 07f and that is the address of this first portion and uh, this address belongs to this portion right so this is how you made up access bank i hope this point is clear to everyone okay let's summarize the result of the last slides learned concept so we know that the ad, uh, access bank is basically composition of two portion uh, the first half of first bank or bank zero and the last half of last bank or bank 15 that is why uh, their range is from 00 hex to 07 f and this is basically from f at zero to ff hex right so it is not contagious right that means uh, it is not continuous range rather there is a break in between these addresses right because the next location after 07f should be what 080 right if you know the hexadecimal numbers so next entry should be 080 but next entry is coming up to f80 that is why it is called not contagious or not continuous range right and this portion this upper portion is basically including in gpr right this is our gpr and that is our sfr portion so i hope you know that now access bank is composition of two parts sfr and gpr and that is why this is SF, uh, sfr and this is gpr right okay remaining locations which are not included in this access bank or default bank that means we are talking about other banks right so other banks address ranges which include after uh, the location after this address and before this address right so this is the address range 080 up to f7f and after that range is included here over here right so that means this is something in between uh, these two portions right and these are basically also part of gpr so if we complete all composite portions of GPR so that means it will start from this location cover up to this point and then this location is also included so the complete range would be what 000 hacks to f7f hacks so this is complete portion of GPR in file access register or file register right while SFR is only this limited portion which is basically only 128 bytes so out of 4k locations there are only 128 locations or 128 registers are used for SFR while this much amount of GPR is used right so I hope this concept of access bank and related stuff of file register is clear now okay bank switching what is bank switching we know that when we power up the microcontroller the access bank or the default bank selected that means we cannot use other banks because we know that in pk 18 f 452 there are 16 banks so we will be having only one access or one bank access right so if what if one is interested to access the other bank so then you need to perform uh, the bank switching right so if file register have more than one bank for example our pk f 452 so uh, and you want to use the range of other banks so you can perform this operation which is called bank switching and we're gonna see in detail uh, this operation how one can access other banks instead of access bank right so that is this phenomena is called bank switching and we're gonna see in coming lectures okay that's it from this video tutorial if you have any con uh, questions please comment in comment section thank you so much for listening